Hello everyone, this is Graham from Unbox Tech Reviews, where today we're going to have a look at the Heart Fury M20 4G smartphone. So we'll start by having a quick look at the box. Put the info on the bottom there. So on the back there you can see got a full list of specifications. So it's got a 5.5 inch dew drop screen with a resolution of 1280 by 720 2 gig ram 16 gig rom it's running android 10 it's got a front camera of 8 megapixels and a rear camera of 13 megapixels with a one amp flash it's got a Lee ion polymer battery which is 3100 milliamp and it's powered by micro usb and it's got the MT6737 quad core processor. So we'll go ahead and open the box and have a look at what we get included. So you get the phone there. It's already inside the case, so we'll have a look at that a little bit later on. Just a quick bit of information there. This phone comes with a removable back, so you've got to take the back off and take off the little battery protective strip before you can use and charge the phone well, it's important to read that first you get your USB to micro USB charging sync cable and as we're in the UK you will get your standard UK USB 3 pin charging plug and you get some more information there starter guide quick read through that and that's all you get in the box so we'll just put that to one side and start having a look at the phone so we'll go ahead and just remove this screen protector first so it removes the top layer of the screen protector the bottom layer if you can just see still attached or comes pre-installed with the screen protector there and you can see it comes with the case already on so as you can see it's got some uh, like a speaker grill at the bottom little microphone slot there on the top you've got your charging point your 3.5 mil audio jack and on the rear there you've got your camera set up with your little flash on this side you've got your power button on your rocker your volume rocker so we'll go ahead and take off this just have a look at the back it's got like a material feel to the back now this back does actually come off and just unclip it and there's your battery your micro SD card slot and your sim slot i've actually got a couple of sim cards so i'll just put them in here just so i can show you it picks up the dual sims if i can get them in there we go I'll put them in clip that back on the phone's already powered up So if we go and have a look at the settings, so you can see it's picked up one of the SIM cards, it should pick the other one up shortly. So they can see auto network. Go back, SIM cards. So they can see one is Vodafone, one is O2. We've got the signals at the top there. One says 4G, the other one says G. So it's picked up the dual SIMs, no problem at all. We'll just go ahead and have a look at some of the settings if we go to system. About 
phone. So then you can see slim SIM card slot one and slot two. The I MEI numbers there, the build number for the phone. We've got wireless update options, device name M20. Go up to storage. So you can see it uses about 4.37 gig. So you've got 27, you've only used 27% of the space. So we've got 11.63 gig free. I'll show you some of the apps it comes with. So I haven't installed anything extra on this phone. This is everything that it comes with out of the box. So let's have a look. We'll have a little look at YouTube. You just got to bear in mind this phone's like £60 on the Amazon store. So it's not going to be a fantastic phone. It's a basic dual SIM phone pick up the 4G networks so it's not going to be amazing for gaming or anything like that right, let's see if we can put the rotation on Pinch and zoom works absolutely fine. Auto rotate, a little bit slow, but it does work. And you can see it's quite responsive. Picture quality of the screen's good. You know it's only maximum 720 screen. It's bright. Let's have a look at the brightness. I've got it. That's all the way up there now. You see it's got Bluetooth, airplane mode, torch on there. Battery saver mode. Let's have a look, see if it comes with maps. So yeah, like I say, it's, it's a budget phone. It's only £60. So you get quite a lot. You know, you get a case, a screen protector. It's dual SIM, 4G. You know, you can chuck a micro SD card in there, up to 128 gig to increase the, the memory on there. Speed. Of the phone is absolutely fine. You can see there, maps works really well. Play Store should load up. Internet's not too good even on the top floor, so it'll take a little while. But you can see, loads up the Play Store fine. See the screen's quite responsive. Let's have a look. So we're on Google Chrome here. No, we can open up a second page there. Have a look. See how we're course we're switching between the pages. It's absolutely fine. So it works really well as a budget phone. You know, like I say, it is a dual SIM, so if you need to have two SIMs in there, this is ready to go. App draw underneath. You know, you've got face unlock. Some nice features there. You can easily set that up. Got the wireless update option, so you can check for updates. Let's see, devices up to date. It's a really nice size phone. All the buttons are accessible really easily. Have a quick look at the camera. I'll include some footage from the camera, still shots, and video footage as well.
Let's see some standard pictures. So you've got mono, video, picture, beauty, bucket, pro, and night. If we go back to picture in the settings let's have a look picture size you can see 30 megapixels 11 megapixels 8 megapixels and 6 megapixels down to 3 we've got a video look video settings video quality so you've got HD 720 40p VGA QVGA and CIF we've got some nice features you know like I say for the price of the phone the quality of the pictures and the videos are not going to be outstanding but I will include some of them at the end of the review just so you can get some idea of what how well the camera will operate what sort of pictures you're going to get from that but i think that's about all i can show you with that phone for now so thanks for watching guys stay tuned for some more videos and see you next time the front facing camera test.